Good day, good day mates. Today we're solving AMC 12B problem number 15. All right, I have a super fast and easy solution for this question. So if we construct two lines like this, we could find the area of this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle, add them all up, and we have our answer. And note that since the question says each line segment has length 2, all of the triangles formed by um, these line segments will be equilateral. So this is 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees. We know the side lengths to be all 2. So we could figure out this area of the triangle by plugging it into the formula. The area of the triangle equals A times B times sine theta over 2. And I will prove this formula real quick. So if you have any random triangle, we have two known side lengths and we have our height, for example, like this. And we have an in-between angle like that. The area of the triangle will simply be this formula and I will prove this right away. Sine theta equals H divided by A. We know the area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2. So height equals A times sine theta. Plug this in here, we will have AB sine theta divided by 2. All right, now that we know this formula, we could plug it into this case and solve right away. So we can see the area of this triangle will simply be um, area equals 2 times 2 times sine 120 divided by 2. So this, this cancels. 2 times sine 120 or 2 times sine 60 supplementary angles equals 2 times square root of 3 over 2 or square root of 3. And note that this triangle is the same as this triangle because they are symmetrical. So we have this area to be square root of 3 and this area to be square root of 3. Now we just have to find out what this middle triangle's area to be. Now we can use law of cosines to figure out this side length right here so that we can figure out we could use right uh, Pythagorean theorem to find out the height of the triangle. So we just use um, law of cosines. So let's call this side to be x. So x squared equals 2 squared plus 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times 2 times cosine of 120. So this would be 4 plus 4, 8. 8 minus 8 times cosine 120. Cosine 120 is negative cosine 60, supplementary angles. So cosine 60 is 1 half times 1 half. So 8 plus 4, um, would be 12, so x squared equals 12. Now we could use um, Pythagorean theorem to solve this. So we have Pythagorean theorem, the base is 1. So 1 squared plus h squared equals x squared, which we solved to be 12. So h squared equals 11. So h equals square root of 11. So the height of the triangle is square root of 11. So base times height, 2 times square root of 11, divided by 2 equals square root of 11. So the area of this in-between triangle is square root of 11. All right, so now let's figure, let's write, re, let's rewrite the formula in this uh, format. So square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 11 is 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 11, which is square root of 12 plus square root of 11. So m plus n, so m is um, 12 and n is 11. So 12 plus 11 is 23. So our answer is 23, or answer choice D. Let me circle D. All right.